Kenyans may have to contend with high sugar prices as the common market for East Africa, East and Southern Africa will not stop member states from selling their sweetener to non-member states. Commerce Trade and Customs Division Director Christopher Onyango says member states facing a sugar deficit should consider reducing tariff and non-tariff barriers to effectively compete with key international buyers that offer better prices for regional sugar. Kenya allowed importation of 100,000 metric tons of sugar duty-free in a bid to lower the cost of sugar in the country. However, the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa is urging Kenya to further consider reducing non-tariff barriers to facilitate access of the regional sugar into the local market. This, the trading bloc says, will cap the high price of sugar in the country, insisting there is enough sugar in the trading bloc's member states and there is need for strengthening the supply chain to reduce the deficit in some countries. We just have to uh, be very sure that uh, we, they should be able to access each other's market uh, flawlessly. And uh, we think that uh, with that being achieved at the tripartite, it will be much more easier uh, for the continental integration too. However, the Secretariat says member states are free to sell the sweetener to non-member states that offer better prices, urging countries facing deficits to seek ways including increasing the production and tax waivers to cushion their consumers. Are, uh, they are more mechanized so they are able to uh, produce at a relatively less, less cost and so they are able to uh, sell their products not just uh, uh, in commercial countries but also elsewhere you see, you see productivity nowadays is the key thing how do you how are you able to uh, to reduce you know production costs be able to access other each other's market and share modalities used in calculating the projected sugar deficit before the one year sugar safeguard extension elapses i uh, will be expecting is uh, for the national government to uh, uh, undertake the reform measures to be able to make the, the sector competitive this, as Tanzania, is among the three countries that are close to signing the tripartite free trade agreement after reaching an agreement on the rules of origins with the member states. To be into force, uh, we need uh, 14 ratification. Uh, actually, now we have 11 ratification and we still need more uh, three uh, to make our tripartite free trade agreement uh, come into force. Only 11 member states have ratified the tripartite free trade agreement that seeks to integrate COMESA, EAC and SADAC to boost Africa trade. Benson Dweber reporting for Prime Edition.